Hi guys, so I am back. Let me just push you back a little bit. With a massive book haul. And this is gonna be uh, listed all in my shop. So I just wanna give you a quick rundown. I'm going to be a little fast because I have gardening books, I have Reader's Digest, I have children's books, I have music books, I have all kinds, sewing theme books nature books i have all kinds of books so let's get cracking so this isn't too long so these are going to be sold in lots of two and they're all going to be reasonable my uh library had a book sale and i went and because i went on the first day i had uh, a lot of books to choose from so let's get cracking i'm gonna be listing these in lots so it's gonna be lot one, lot two, lot three. It's gonna be easier for me and it won't take too much time. So the first one is lot one and it's this beautiful Reader's Digest. And these books are all in good condition. Beautiful like feathering here, red with, uh, I think this is looks like a navy, deep navy blue. And I'm not gonna go through the copyright because it'll take us forever, but it, they're all vintage. The pages are exquisitely yellowed. So that is that first one. Love the feathering on that one. And then this is the second one. Like a chocolate brown and look at the cover. It's beautiful. And that's the binding. On the inside. Again, it's got some photos in it. So that is lot one. Put that there as lot one. And then let's find lot two is, I'm doing this on my dining room table because this would not fit on my desk. Lot two is this one, and this is like a orangey, burgundy type color. Oh, I didn't realize the spine is coming undone on that one. So, hmm. Yeah. Huh, what to do? Steve, go and get me another Reader's Digest off of my desk, because I'm not happy with that. Let's put that two on the side because I didn't realize when I picked this one that see that binding is coming on down a little bit there. So let's put that one aside. Let's move on to lot three for now. This is lot three. And again, beautiful cover. It's got the brown and the turquoise, uh, like the turquoise design, squigglies. And that's the inside. Oh, I'm showing you this backwards, of course. Looks like that. Beautiful. Some images in there. And then goes with this other one. Beautiful feathering again. And it's again like a navy, deep navy blue. some photos Scott. so that is a lot three okay let's go to a lot four lot four underneath there there's one Lot four has, again, the feathering. And again, beautifully yellow with some images. It's like a navy blue again. Beautiful feathering. And then this one is purple. 
with the purple. And this is like a hunter green. And then the spine. Got like the, I don't know, uh, periwinkle blue. So that one is lot four. Okay, so hubby went and got me another one. So here we go, lot two. This is chocolate with this beautiful design. Bring it close to you so you can see it. And that is the back. And it's got the red inside. And I always open these backwards. I don't know why. You got some images in there. Okay, so that is a lot two. And then you have this other one here with the navy and the green. Um, and that is the cover. It's like cream with some green. I hope this lighting isn't too bad. Sorry about that. Okay, so that is lot two. Then we have lot five. This one is very Christmassy, I think. And it's the hunter green with this beautiful cover with the red and the green weaving. Let me open it up. And, and I always do this backwards. Oh my God. Beautiful yellow pages. It has images as well. So that's that one. And then you have a full hunter green, which is perfect for Christmas. Uh, and I love the end pages, like water marbling. Beautiful. So we got that one. And that's lot five. Lot six is another beautiful one with this gray and cream and blue, dark blue and light blue. Beautiful blue inside. And it's got images as well. Perfect. And then this one also reminds me of Christmas. But a navy blue spine and then that's the print on that one. This one has images as well. Oopsie. So that is lot six. These are so fun for journals. Oh, almost done with the Reader's Digest, guys. Lot seven, we have another gorgeous print. Let me show you. It's a green and white print there with blue. Oopsie. With blue and green. Green inside. Beautiful images. That one. And then a bright red 
awesome for a Christmas journal and it has the little embossed, um, what is it, like a sphinx or something? And then green lettering there for the spine. So that one is seven, a lot seven. Lot eight. Perfect for the fall now. It's like a orangey and then blue with the green um, lettering there. Brown inside. Also has some images. You can use the pages for envelopes and then the images for just adding to your journals. So got that one and then we have this full burgundy with the little embossed image right there. And that's the spine. So that is eight. And then this is lot nine. Again, beautiful print with a hunter green there and then your beautiful print there which is like a green uh, it's like a like a mossy sage green and then a lighter green and then an ivory and then a hunter green here and then like a grayish green right here on these squares And then you have images also inside. So that is lot nine. And then this is like a beautiful, smooth, uh, chocolate, chocolatey brown. Perfect. And then you got the gold um, lettering on the spine. Beautiful for a journal. So this one is lot nine. Then got just two more lots to go, guys, and then we'll move on to the other goodies. This is lot ten. Another one perfect for the fall with the oranges and the brown orange inside I keep sorry I keep bumping the tripod nice images like I said I'm not gonna go through the copyright because we'll be here forever and then you have this brown and the teal on the spine here in the brown and then the teal on the cover, gorgeous, beautiful book, and then teal inside, and you can see the wear around the edges, which I just love. See the wear on the edges, the yellowing, and the yellowing on the pages, I just love. So that's that one, and this is lot 10. And our last lot is this one. And this one I love because it's like, it feels like book cloth. And it's got this uh, gold stamping in the center. And then it's got this like reddish uh, inscription there with gold. And that is the back. Open it up. Beautiful end papers. Love it. 
Okay, so we have that one is, love that cover, feels so nice. And then you have this one, again with the green and the uh, hunter green and hunter green there and the binding. This one has an inscription on the X Libris, but you can always just put a label there if you want to use the end paper. I normally, when I got one of these out, I normally don't use this end paper. I use normally this. So, but it's all up to you. Sorry to hear my grandbabies. The one is a little sick. So that is that one. And this one is lot number 11. So, babe, can you put this box on the floor for me? So let me show you now the organic and uh, the gardening and the nature books that I have. So first of all, I have two Audubon Society Field Guide. I have the Audubon Society Field Guide to North America Wildflowers. And it is a vinyl uh, cover, vinyl. So it looks like this. And this one is copyright, I'll tell you now. Copyright on this one is, hold on guys, bear with me. I saw it the other day. Oh my gosh, really? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, 1979. So 1979, it's like this lime green vinyl cover. It's very um, dainty, but I love the images. It's got the maps, and then look at the images. We have all these images in here. Sorry about the glare, because it's gonna pick it up because the papers are like um, satiny. But these will make beautiful tags and you get them in all different sizes. Isn't that just gorgeous? Just give you a quick flip through and it tells you all about the flowers. And that's so pretty. Hope you guys can see this right and then here it starts talking about all of them so this is the text part of the field guide where it talks about all the flowers and the distinguished uh, features and all of that so that is that one and then we have this other one and this is like a vinyl as well but it's a beige one same size and this is the Audubon Field Guide to North American Seashells. So this is awesome for a um, maybe like a mermaid journal or a um, sea uh, theme journal. This is copyright 1981. And I'll just give you a faster flip through. So you have all the images in the black and then it goes into your... Uh, photos of all the different seashells and the perfect for tags and the pages are nice and hefty on the photos so you have those 
And even if you know somebody who loves to, um, and then you have your textbook that tells you all about each different uh, seashell. So those are in my shop. And then you have uh, Taming and Training Lovebirds. Beautiful book. And this is, uh, look at the inside. And this one is copyright 1979. Look at these images, gorgeous images here. These are gonna be individually listed, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail on them because I have so many books, it'll take me forever. So I'm just gonna be listing these as the title, okay? And then you have all of the information and look at how cute these are. Perfect for cutting up and putting into your birth theme journals. Look at how cute. I love these. So that one is that one. Then you have the Pictorial Encyclopedia of the Animal Kingdom. And it has a dust jacket and it's covered in book cloth. It's got some discoloration on the edges, but all in all, it's in excellent shape. And this one is copyright. Uh, 1962 and you have the full encyclopedia of it's awesome it's got all kinds of photographs black and white how awesome is this birds isn't this just amazing Gorgeous for addition to any junk journal. Lizards and turtles. Give me a little quick flip through. Fishes. Insects. Butterflies. It even has some color pages, all kinds of butterflies and moths. I love the images, beetles, bees. So any kind of uh, insect or nature journal that you want to add, uh, whether it's birds, butterflies, bees, anything, spiders, baby can I have some coffee please, shells, you have it all here, ocean, plants, it's all in one book. So you will always have everything in there. Then I have the Encyclopedia of Organic Gardening. Excellent condition as well. Hefty book. And this one is copyright 1978. I'll just give you a quick flip through. There you go. There are some images in here as well. I'm, just, I'm not doing a very good job in showing you as usual. And 
you don't need to be a junk journaler to buy this. I mean, if you're a gardener, you will have fun going through this. And like I said, the prices on these are going to be extremely inexpensive. But these are good to rip pages and add to your, um, you know, fold them and add them to your uh, botanical journals and gardening journals. So that is that one. Okay. So that's that one. Oh, heavy. Longwood Gardens. Beautiful hardcover cream. And this one is copyright 1967. It's got some, you know, aging. But look at the images on this. Oh, look at those gardens. Look at that. These are a little glossier, but it's so, they'll make some beautiful tags. Look at, to cut and put in a flower theme or botanical theme journal. Look at that. Is that just amazing? Oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful. So these are just exquisite images. Wouldn't you love to have a garden like this? Oh my gosh, I would love to. Snow. Look at that, amazing. Look at the red. Poinsettias. Love it. So these are going to just have the name of the book. Beautiful. And all these are going to be shipped media mail, so they won't be expensive to ship out to you. The World in Your Garden National Graph. Uh, Geographic Society and it's got the dust cover dust cover is not in such a but wouldn't this be a beautiful journal cover though with the green and the red it's in such good condition with the book cloth I think it would make a beautiful and look at the inside and sheets and papers and the same on the back isn't that just beautiful? And then this one is copyright. This one, 1957. So let me just give you a quick flip through. And I love this because it has like paintings. See, they're like paintings instead of like uh, photographs. I think there are some photographs, but I think the majority is like paintings. I love it. See that? So many photo um, paintings here. See that? And I love it because you have a painting here and a painting here. So if you cut it and you fold it and you add it to your journal, you'll have the painting on both sides. You know what I mean? So I like that. See what I'm saying? So if you cut it, you fold it, you'll have painting on either side of the page. And that's what I love about it. It's going to be, be a great addition to journals. It's 
So it's like double sided when you cut into it. What was this? A little piece of paper. Isn't it beautiful, this one? And then you have these too. And these feel to me, I don't know, it, it's like a porous paper. I don't know what rice paper feels like, but if I had to say, I would say I'm like rice paper, but thicker. Isn't that just beautiful? I love these. And then you have your photographs here. And then you have like the photographs here, which with that hummingbird, you can cut those out and use them for tags. I love this book. It was very hard to decide whether I was going to sell this one, but I said, yeah, I'll sell them. And then you have North American birds. And excellent condition as well. It's like a gray hard book that um, cover. And this one is copyright. Hmm. I'm trying to see. 1984. Look at all of these birds. And I still have the Audubon book, Audubon book in my shop. If you guys didn't um, check that out, that's another beautiful book. But look at these for tags. If you're a bird lover, if you um, want to make a, a bird journal, look at these are perfect size. This is perfect for folding into your journal. So let me just give you a quick flip through because I still have music books to go through. Look a little woodpecker. I think that's a woodpecker. Beautiful the owls. That's a woodpecker. <laughs> yeah, how cute. So, another beautiful. So, you have an arsenal of different types of books. Oh, how gorgeous that is. Perfect size for tags. Look at that owl. All right, so you have that one, and that's the uh, North American birds. <clears throat> My leg fell asleep, guys. This I'm um, I'm gonna list this in a for a dollar. This is gonna be a dollar. This is handmade, and this I found at an estate sale. These are from an estate sale that I had gone to. This wasn't at the library. And it is handmade. Uh, this was brand new, I just pulled it out of the wrapper. And it's a cinnamon stick. And look at the binding. I guess this lady went to Jamaica. This is a photo album. And it's like this canvas and it says Jamaica. But look at the inside. It's like an old fashioned album. And you would put your photos here. And it's got this uh, different paper. Even if you just cut this and use this paper, I don't know what this paper is made of, but you would slip your photos in there like so you know of course this is not the right size but it would see it would hold your papers your photos like that you know in either side so i it's it's for four by six photos but it's like stitched together so that 
you know, it's each page holds four photos. And this book smells like cinnamon. You see, it doesn't it remind you of how they used to make the photo albums back in the day? And then it has this tissue in between, I guess, so the photos won't stick. So if you're interested, I'm gonna have this in the shop for a dollar. If anything, any junk journaler can just pull it apart and use all the fabric and the, the insert pages because this is, I don't know what type of material this is, but it's nice. And if you went to Jamaica on a vacation, you see the back? And it's this like fabric. It almost feels like upholstery. Oh, yeah. this camera, it almost feels like upholstery. See? And then look at it. It has a cinnamon stick. Is that something? And it says Jamaica. Never used. So I'm going to have that in the shop for a dollar if you're interested. And then I have this that I found at the estate sale, and it is a recipe book, bound, never been used. And what I like about it is it has this thing, and you can actually stand it up like so, but I just don't want to bend it because it does have the crease. So it actually stands up. It has the crease right there. But I don't want to bend it, but the instructions on how you, you open it and so it can stand up is there. And it has all of your all of your um, measurement uh, conversions here, and then all of your tabs. Never been used. And then your recipes here. And even if you don't use it like that, but it has a, a, a quote from the Bible. Isn't that nice? Every page has a, a Bible quote at the bottom. So you have your chicken, your chicken dish. And then look how pretty. Right? And every page has a Bible quote. And then you have your casserole dish and another Bible quote. And every page has a Bible a Bible quote. And your cabbages with another Bible quote. and so on and so forth. So I thought that was so super cute. So, if you're interested, this book will be listed as well. And this is, it doesn't say what year. This is from, but I think it's super cute and I think I'm gonna sell this one for a buck fifty if you're interested. Super cute. I love the Bible quotes. All right, back to these books. So I have this Thomas Kincaid uh, little set here. It's called the Window Box Collection. super cute it comes in its own little box and it has uh, blessings and it says presented to with love from and a date these would be super cute to just gift as is or to add to journals look at how beautiful those images are I love Thomas Kincaid's work 
and it has prayer um, quotes from the Bible. And you know what I love about these? They have the binding right there. You can carefully undo the stitching and just pull out the pages and just add them as a whole page to your journals, which is what I like to do. Look at how gorgeous. So you have poems, Bible quotes. Love it. So sorry about the glare, but they're like a satiny finish. So you have that one, and then you have classic prayers. These will make perfect stocking stuffers too because they have no markings. Classic prayers, look at that. I'm trying for it not to have so much glare, I'm so sorry. were amazing. I love. Who doesn't love Thomas Kincaid? And then this one is called Favorite Bible Verses. And then the last one is called Bedtime Prayers. So you do not need to be a junk journaler to get these little cute books. So this is going to be listed in my shop as well and it comes in its own little cute box. And there's the whole set. And it is called the window box collection. Then you have the book of birthdays. Super cute. That's the front cover. This would make a really cute journal, wouldn't it? For you to have to add your special people's birthday, you know, and journal about the events, parties, and just to have just for that. But the images in here are super cute. These, this is copyright, let me see, 2002. So it's not really that old. But wait till you see the images on this little thing. And how cute is that? Let me bring you in a little closer. Let me 
Look at how adorable. And again, you can find the center of the signature, like it would be right here. Undo it and just pull out the whole page and add it to your journal just as is. How cute are these images? Look at that little girl. <laughs> Lots of little poems and quotes. Look at her. How cute is she? I can't. Look at the old grandma. Super cute with lots of different stories and different photos and vintage um, pictures, you know, illustrations. Oh, so many things that you can cut up. Look at that one. So this is super cute. Starlight. No, what does it say there? No, oh, Sagittarius. So it has Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. So it has all of the signs. It's a fun book. It's a fun read. Not to mention the illustrations, the poems, the quotes. Look at that. So this will be listed in my shop as well. Oh, how cute. So that one is going to be listed. Then we have Folklore, Folklore in America. Perfect uh, journal size as well. Green and like a burgundy book cloth. Perfect journal size too if you just want to use it for the cover but in here it talks about all of the four core that we have in this amazing country <laughs> riddles and wise tales story and music and a fun read look at the musics <laughs> It's a fun read. So, yeah, this one was copyright and so if you like history the way I do, 1966, you'll enjoy that one. This one is the fossil language system, Spanish. This one, uh, the paper feels amazing, like butter again. This one is in 19, copyright 1909, and it is a English to Spanish dictionary. It reads Spanish to English dictionary. It's so fun. The paper feel is so amazing. It has little bits and pieces here. A, a thought for today. In spite of the stare of the wise and the world's derision, there follow the star blaze road. There follow the vision. Edward Markham. But, oh wow, this has been there for a long time because look, and left the imprint right there. Um, it just feels so good. The papers before I, I, oh look, a little Christmas little tag. I'm keeping that one, sorry guys. Because I'm gonna be working on the papers back then, around that time, it's like butter. It just feels amazing. If you haven't had a book from that time, like the 1900s, it's just so smooth. So this one is going to be in the shop as well. And then I found this one, and I like this one just because of that red. And I thought it, made, it would make a beautiful journal for Christmas. Beautiful cover. 
nice size. And I don't think it's very vintage. The book of Bruce, but no, a book, what is this? Bruce Cotton, The Army of the Potomac. But I just got it because of the cover. This video is gonna be so long. I'm so sorry, but I have a lot of books to go through and maybe you guys will be interested. So I don't think this has images. I just got it for the cover, to be honest. Well, it has some maps and stuff, but that'll be listed on the shop. The cover was in such mint condition and I love that red, it's like a Christmas red, so that's why I got that one. George Washington World. Love this one. Let's see here. I'm gonna take the dust cover off and see what it looks like. So it's like a blue jean book cloth cover. So that's what it looks like. Let's put that back. Okay, so this one is old. This one is 1941. That's what that looks like. Let's go up. Lots of cool images in here as well. I like the images. <laughs> Let me just flip through it. Love it. Look at the images. Look at that. I love the images. That's why I picked it up. Look at it. Love it. Look at that. Look at that one. So it's got a lot of neat images. So that'll be listed in my shop as well. Well, everything that I'm showing you is going to be listed in the shop. I don't have to keep repeating that. We're seeing some progress here, guys. Almost there. Then we have the Strange Stories, Amazing Facts. And look at how gorgeous this book is. Look at this. Mint condition. I love it. It's a Reader's Digest. What in this make a gorgeous big journal? Oh, I just love it. Look at it. It's got the red, deep red, like blood <laughs> with swirls and the gold lettering and the navy uh, binding. Red inside, and it just readers digest strange stories and amazing facts, and it has so many illustrations in here. Look at all the images. Bussy cutting and adding to journals. All oh, from old vintage photos to illustrations. You have all different pictures and stories in here. Not to mention, it, it's a fun read. Look at that one. I 
here. So we have this one. Just a wealth of photographs of all different kinds and stories. Okay. Then I found this neat Bible. Oh my gosh, this Bible is so pretty. Look at that. It's a children's Bible. But look at this Bible. How beautiful it is. Wait till you see. Look at the illustrations on this Bible. It's, um, I say it's more like stories from the Bible. You know what I mean? For children. Look at it, all those illustrations. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not saying to destroy it or rip it, because I would never rip a Bible, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. <laughs> but if you have a little one, um, wouldn't this be, in your question, wouldn't this be an awesome gift to gift to your little one? Because you know, children have to have all the illustrations to get them interested. You got that one. Love the illustrations on that one. So that's going to be on my Etsy. Awesome. Okay. Now we have a Christmas 1986. And this is Southern Living. This book is new because it's still tight. All the patterns, fun for journals. Look at that. So we have that one. Awesome. Look at the tree for this tags or adding to your Christmas journal. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? So we got that one. And now we help go to the kitty books. Oh. A picture Book of Nature. Look at how cute. And this one is copyright uh, 1943. 
Look at how cute. Giraffes and elephants and um, botanicals. I love that they're in, um, they look like they're drawn, you know, like a drawing. Love that. Flowers. And then now the birds. Love it. So cute. So that is that one. And that is the picture book of nature's. Look at how cute is the cover. And then I have this one. And I might have to come back to finish because my memory card is full. This is a big one. This one measures about 15 inches by 12. But it still will be able to be shipped in a media, media mail. But look at all of these images for tags. And I can barely get it all in my... Look at that. So I might have to come back with a part two, guys. Because we still have the um, uh, geographic and, and sewing theme and all the music and the rest of the children's book. So I might have to upload this and come right back. So that is this one. Guys, I'm coming right back to show you the rest. And stay tuned for part two and we are almost done. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end. I'm coming back with part two. Two.